I've never seen a diamond in the flesh I cut my teeth on wedding rings in the movies And I'm not proud of my address In a torn up town, no postcode Concerns and conversations about how dark his skin might be when he's born there is a conversation. Hold up, hold up. There's Stop several right now. There are several conversations. There's a about conversation it. about how dark your baby is going to be? Potentially, and what that would mean or look like. Ooh, extraordinary. I mean, you know, I've never seen anybody behave like that. Gold teeth, gray goose, dripping in the bathroom, blood stains, ball gowns, trash in the hotel room. We don't care. We're driving Cadillacs in our dreams. But everybody's like crystal made back diamonds on your timepiece chip. Yes, that's the truth. 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 Caught up in your love affair. And we'll never be royal. It's a one in our blood. That kind of looks just ain't for us. We crave a different kind of buzz. Let me be your ruler. good progress designing body armor that fits women properly, tailoring combat uniforms for women, creating maternity flight suits. So we've got new hairstyles and maternity flight suits. Pregnant women are going to fight our wars. While China's military becomes more masculine, our military needs to become, as Joe Biden says, more feminine. My friends in the eye, we've cracked the code. We count our dollars on the train to the party And everyone who knows us knows That we're fine with this We didn't come for money But every song's like gold teeth, gray goose Dripping in the bathroom, blood stains, ball gowns Trash in the hotel room, we don't care We're driving Cadillacs in our dreams But everybody's like crystal made And we'll never be royal. It's a one in our blood. That kind of luck just ain't for us. We crave a different kind of buzz. Let me be your ruler. You can call me Queen Bee. And baby, I'll rule. Let me live that fantasy. President Joe Biden sent his two dogs back to his family home in Delaware. Three-year-old Major had been displaying aggressive behavior, jumping, barking, charging at White House staff. He was also involved in a biting incident with a member of security. I'm like a poor relative, Mike. When I'm invited, I show up. They stay longer than they're supposed to. I'm one of those kind of guys. I can't believe you're actually standing here in my living room, Eddie. Mm. <laughs> Never thought the day would come. Yeah, I'm excited about it, too. I'm Lauren Boebert, a mom, a small business owner, a defender of freedom. Here's what I know. You protect what you love. President Trump built a big, beautiful wall because he loves America. And he wanted to secure our country and protect us from drugs, illegal aliens pouring into our communities, and sex traffickers. Democrats, they fought him every step of the way. And now, welcome to Fort Pelosi, where Democrats decry walls from within their own heavily guarded razor wire wall. Democrats don't want to protect you because they don't care about you but they'll spare no expense protecting themselves. We will not build a wall. No, there will not be another foot of wall constructed on my administration. I'm not Number for a wall. One. I'm not for a wall. It's time to cut the crap and remember, this is the people's house. Madam Speaker, tear down this wall. Texas is not going to shy away.
from stepping up and filling the gap that the federal government has left open. My phone has been ringing off the hook from ranchers in, in this region and regions west of here about the dramatic increase in the number of people who are crossing their ranches and causing mayhem on their ranches. And the Biden administration does not care about those ranchers, those homeowners. He does not care about Americans. Last summer, nine months ago, you were in front of this committee and Senator Corden said, do you believe that all Americans are racist? You, you replied, yes, I think that we all have implicit biases and racial biases. Yes, I do. So Ms. Gupta, I ask you, against which races do you harbor racial bias? Senator Cotton, I do not. Um, the yes was to say that all of us have implicit bias. Well, to be precise, you said we all have implicit biases and racial biases. All of us um, are able to manage implicit bias, but only if we can acknowledge our own. So I'm asking you again, against which races do you harbor racial bias? I am quite aware that I know that I hold stereotypes that I have to manage. I'm a product of my culture. You didn't want to respond. My, my time is up here. I'll just say that I don't think you harbor racial bias towards any racial group. But when you throw around allegations that every single American suffers from racial bias and every single institution suffers from institutional racism, you open yourself up to these kinds of questions by, by condemning your fellow Americans without individualized evidence of their beliefs, their words, or their deeds. I, I think these statements were beyond the pale. I, I don't think really anybody truly believes them, nor should they be believed because they are so preposterous. Bom -da -bom, bom -da -bom, bom -da -bom. Bomb, 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 bomb
bomb, dang 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 dang